Hello, you amazing patrons. Just checking in to say a quick hello and also to say that the new episode of the season two, Creepy Cove Community Church, is now available. You can check that out in sermon-only format or the full thing with Dracula and Van Helsing and all this crazy stuff. That was pretty fun. And also with a patron involved, uh, Jessica is involved in that. So thank you for doing the voice of Verity Pemberton. You were, you were fantastic. Um, another thing to say is thanks for all your amazing questions that you've sent for the AMAs, Ask Me Anything. I'm just going through those now and recording that and that will be available to you, uh, all patrons, um, tomorrow. So um, thanks for those really deep and great questions. But there's something else I wanted to show you. Can you remember that um, I was asked a few months ago to write some descriptions of famous horror houses for an art project for an art gallery called Dark City Gallery? And this was because a French artist wanted to try and do these kind of blueprints for famous horror houses. Well, um, they've sent me the whole set um, for taking part in that. And also I've been able to frame them with some cheap frames off the internet. And I thought you might want to check them out because I think they look really cool. So have a look. Here is the first one. There's five in the set. This is the first one, which you may recognize. I'll give you a moment to try and work out what the house is. It is three, two, one. The Poltergeist House. And um, you can see, you know, it's got the house up there, but it goes into depth. It has like this, the sweeping staircase that's on a curve. And you can look and see different parts of the film in there which is great. Um, the next thing to say is uh, this one. Can you get, this is probably the hardest one to get for some people, but this is the house from the Supernatural film with Barbara Hershey from the 80s, The Entity. And um, yeah, that's a pretty dark story, but um, now immortalized in a blueprint or a white print. This, of course, I probably, probably doesn't really take a great deal of guessing. It's the Psycho House. Um, with this old sort of Victorian sort of gothic vibe. And of course you can see it's got like the cellar in there with a, a little chair in it. And it's got the room where the mother on the first story looks out. And so it's got all these little details which are subtle, but cool. Here, um, you'll see the design of this is slightly different because this has got um, uh, like almost like a photograph of this, but this is, as you may be aware, the uh, Exorcist house. And it looks fantastic. And if you, I don't know if you know this, but when they filmed this, uh, for real, this part of the house, they built like a set, this part on, and they built this roof on as well. If you go to the house today in real life, you only get this little block here. But as you can see, you can see the big sort of attic where all the spooky things go on and the cellar and the kids' room and the window where bad things happen. And then here's my, my favorite of the bunch is, uh, the Amateurville Horror House. <laughs> Just crawl subtly past. The Amateurville Horror House, which has these amazing sort of um, quarter moon Dutch colonial windows, which look like eyes uh, looking out. Did you know that actually um, the owners of this house now have had those um, windows changed because uh, too many tourists who were obsessed with Amateurville were coming over and so they've changed them into kind of normal, less evil windows. But yeah. You'll get a taste of these um, here, but um, Dark City Gallery are actually selling these individually or as a set, um, but I think they look great. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for listening, and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.